today students welcome in this youtube channel in this video we'll discuss about the pattern and blueprint of paper of class 10 mathematics for cbse board for the session 2020-21 so let's start with the pattern now this year the pattern of the cbse paper of maths is totally changed so what is new pattern let's discuss about that first of all i want to tell you that this paper will be of three hours time will be 3 hours and maximum marks will be 80 okay so what will be the types of paper and what is the pattern so in paper there will be two parts so in paper there is part a and here this is part b so paper is divided into part a and part b in part a there will be two sections section 1 and section 2 okay so in part a there are two sections section 1 and section 2 and b part is separate right so let's see what is in the section 1 in section 1 there will be 16 questions question 1 to question 16 will be there in the section 1 and these all questions will be of one mark each okay one mark each so I tell you there will be no MCQ multiple choice questions will not be there right just one mark questions will be there and 1 to 16 means 16 questions and there are five internal choices will be given in these questions means on five questions you will be given two questions to solve any one from that so see here paper see here in first question there is a choice you know? either you should do this part or this part so there will be similarly there will be five choices in these 16 questions so next also on fifth question also choices there so this way five choices will be given in 16 questions so this is totally of 16 marks so total marks here are 16 because 16 questions one one mark so total marks are 16 here of section one okay in section two there will be four questions and these questions will be case study based questions case study based questions right so these are the new concept introduced this time so case study based questions will be coming and there will be four questions question number 17 question number 18 question number 19 and question number 20 these four questions will be case study based questions so in each case study based question there will be five questions asked below okay one paragraph is given and then five questions will be asked a part b part c d and e parts so you are to attempt any four parts from these five parts any four you are to attempt right so this will be a four mark 17th question is also four mark marks and 18 is also this is also case study so here will be five questions asked here in this and we are to attempt any four so it is also four marks similarly 19 question is also of four marks we are to attempt out of five any four and 20th question will also be case study and we are to attempt from five questions we are to attempt any four okay any four you are to attempt so this section 2 is also 16 marks 4 4 4 4 total 16 marks of section 2 also so part a is with section 1 and section 2 so total marks of part a is 16 plus 16 32 marks will be there for part a so again i repeat there will be two parts part a part b in part a section 1 there are 1 to 16 number questions there is no mcq you are to give the solution you have to show solution also and give the answer also okay and uh, my dear i want to tell you that in these 16 questions show solutions also if sometime your question is correct but answer is coming somewhere wrong then you can get the half credit but if you write the answer directly and that is wrong then you will not get any mark then you will get zero marks so i just want to tell you show solutions also okay this is for your benefit so 32 marks of part a now in part b what will be there two marks questions three marks questions and five marks questions will be there okay so first six questions will be of two two marks means question number 21 22 23 24 25 and 26 
these six questions will be of two two marks so total marks from two marks questions will be 12 okay and in these six questions there will be two choices also on two questions you can have the choices that you do either this or this so i want to show you in the paper that in 21 number uh, question or 22 23 there are two choices so in this standard paper also see here 25th question choice is given you are to do either this or this okay and in one more question it is 22nd question also choice is given so two choices will be given for the two marks questions and there will be six two marks questions and now there will be seven three marks questions like 27th question 28th 29th 30th 31 32 33 these questions seven questions will be of three three marks so total marks are 21 from here three marks questions so here also two choices will be given to you on two questions you will have the choices right and now the five five marks questions 34 35 and 36 number questions will be of five marks so there will be three questions of five five marks so total marks are 15 here one choice will be given here to you okay so see what are how many total marks in part 2 part b sorry 12 plus 21 that is 33 33 plus 15 that is 48 marks part b is of 48 marks and part a is of 32 marks so 32 plus 48 is 80 so this is all about the pattern of the paper for this session so now let's discuss about the blueprint so in blueprint we have seven units this your full book is divided into seven units first unit is number system so under number system chapter one real number comes so real number chapter will come of six marks okay so now the second unit is algebra in algebra your chapter two three four five will come like second chapter polynomial third is pair of linear equations in two variables fourth chapter is quadratic equations and fifth is arithmetic progression so this these four chapters will combine and we have an algebra unit so this will come of 20 marks okay so these four chapters will come of 20 marks now the third unit is coordinate geometry and under this coordinate geometry only seventh chapter comes that is coordinate geometry chapter so it will come of six marks right and the fourth unit is your geometry in geometry there are three chapters chapter 6 10 and 11 chapter 6 is triangles 10 is circles and 11 is constructions so this chapter uh, this these three chapters will come of 15 marks okay so the next is trigonometry under trigonometry there are two units uh, two chapters chapter 8 and chapter 9 chapter 8 is introduction to trigonometry and chapter 9 is some applications of trigonometry so these two chapters will come of 12 marks okay so and uh, sixth unit is mensuration under mensuration there are two chapters chapter 12 and 13 12th is area related to circles and 13th is surface area and volumes so these two chapters will come of 10 marks right and then we have seventh unit that is statistics and probability so under this there are two chapters 14 and 15th 14th is statistics and 15th is probability these two chapters will come of 11 marks so these all marks will be 80 so this is the blueprint for uh, this paper of 2020-21 session so i hope you will find this video helpful to you thanks for watching